We're back once again in the Chilterns, near Welsh Road, looking down on one of the most complex sections of HS2's route through Buckinghamshire. All the footage you're seeing here has been captured from the air, a privileged perspective that allows us to step back from the noise of the project and examine not just scale, but progress. This is a comparison, what the site looked like in 2024 and what has changed as we move through 2025. Not just steel and concrete, but time, money and direction. Last year this landscape was dominated by earthworks, open cuttings, exposed tunnel portals, temporary hall roads and construction traffic carving routes through fields that had, until recently, been unchanged for generations. In 2024, progress here felt preparatory. The ground was being shaped for what was to come, rather than revealing the final railway itself. Fast forward to today, and the emphasis has shifted. Instead of groundwork, we are now seeing permanent structures emerging. The elements that will define this stretch of HS2 for decades. One of the most striking changes since last year is this large rectangular concrete structure now clearly emerging from the tunnel section. At first glance it appears stark, almost industrial, but its form tells us an important story. Its scale and geometry strongly suggest a permanent headhouse or tunnel interface structure, a fixed element designed to manage drainage, ventilation, access and long-term maintenance of the board tunnel. In 2024, this area was still being excavated and prepared. In 2025, the tunnel is asserting itself, moving from an invisible underground asset to a defined, serviceable piece of infrastructure. The shift is subtle, but significant. Nearby, another new feature has appeared, a long, rust-coloured steel structure laid out in sections. That colour is no accident. The steel has been deliberately left to weather, forming a protective oxide layer, a common approach in modern rail bridges and viaducts to reduce long-term maintenance. While it may still look skeletal today, this is likely the early stage of a future bridge or deck assembly, positioned close to where it will eventually be installed. In 2024, this steel simply didn't exist here. In 2025, it marks a transition from preparation to assembly. It's the difference between enabling works and irreversible commitment. Taken together, these elements tell us something important about timelines. Tunnel drives in this region are no longer theoretical. They are complete or close to it. What we see now is infrastructure needed to operate, maintain, and integrate the tunnel into the wider railway. And yet, it's impossible to ignore the broader context. HS2's costs have risen dramatically since inception. While its geographic scope has narrowed, the line no longer runs to Manchester. Eastern legs have been cancelled and delivery dates remain fluid. Here, in Welsh Road, progress is real, but slow, measured, and expensive. This raises one of the central questions of the project going forward. Is the HS2 now a railway racing towards completion, or one carefully rationed to contain further cost escalation? From the air, the works appear methodical rather than urgent. Structures are robust, over-engineered by necessity, and clearly built for a 120-year lifespan. But every additional year on the site increases financial pressure and pushes public benefit further into the future. What you're seeing in 2025 is confidence in engineering, but uncertainty in delivery. And perhaps that's the most honest way to view this moment. 
The infrastructure is no longer speculative. The tunnels exist. The steel is real. The concrete is permanent. The land has been reshaped in ways that cannot be undone. But the national conversation around HS2 has shifted. The debate is no longer whether it should be built, but whether what remains can be delivered efficiently, transparently, and within a timetable the public can trust. From above the Welsh Road, HS2 feels quieter than it once did, but no less consequential. These aren't just construction sites anymore. These are fragments of a railway that will either redefine long-distance travel or stand as a warning about the cost of infrastructure without certainty. Thank you for watching. If you found this aerial comparison useful, do consider subscribing. It genuinely helps the channel grow. Until next time, this has been HS2 in 2025. Measured, monumental, and still unresolved. Thank you.